Well hello there my fellow Eastlanders, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So in this video I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the railway rifle and how to obtain it in Fallout 76 as of 2022. So before we start, make sure that you sub with the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So the railway rifle is an interesting weapon in Fallout 76. It's definitely not the meta, mainly because of its extremely small clip size, it can only hold 10 rounds at a time. It deals a decent amount of damage, especially if you spec into it, but the fact that you can only hold 10 rounds at a time is less than ideal for a meta weapon. But now let's talk about how you could actually obtain a physical copy of this weapon. So sadly, enemies in Fallout 76 don't drop a physical copy of this weapon. None of them do. The only way that you could obtain a physical copy of this weapon is by buying it from here, from Berkeley Springs. Now remember, when they bought Wallens here, he has a low chance of having a physical copy of this weapon in his inventory. He doesn't have it now. I already checked his inventory. The chances are quite low, so don't count on it but getting a copy of this weapon's plan is a lot easier if you really want to have a copy of this weapon. So for obtaining a copy of this weapon's plan without buying it, you could find it in random containers in the Savage Divide, Ash Sheep, the Mire and the Cranberry Bog region. You could get it by killing boss enemies in the Savage Divide area, the Ash Sheep, the Mire and the Cranberry Bog area. And by boss creatures, I mean creatures like the Fog Crawler, the Grafter Monster, Super Mutant Behemoth, Deathclaw, and creatures like that. You could get it by farming treasure maps in the Savage Divide area, the Ash Sheep area, the Mire, and the Cranberry Bug area. And you could randomly find it in just four regions. And also, there's a low chance that you could obtain it by doing daily ops when you're in between level 30 and 49. If you're above level 49, you cannot get this weapons plan from Daily Ops. Now, if you want to buy a copy of this weapons plan, four in-game vendors sell it. The first one is again here, in Berkeley Springs Station. As you can see, he is selling a copy of this weapons plan for 1500. Again, you could farm for two days and easily buy it. So, besides him, you could also buy it from this place, the Vatoga Station. Let me show you. And whenever you fast travel here, obviously you wanna enter the station itself. It's quite easy. And in here, the Vitoga vendor bot, he's also selling a copy of this weapon's plan. Now besides these two, you could also buy it from two of the vendors in the White Spring Resort. So let me go ahead and show you where they are. First of all, fast travel to the White Spring Resort. And whenever you fast travel here, you wanna go ahead and enter the resort itself. And in here, you want to go down these stairs. Okay, uh, go down these stairs. And first of all, here I think. Yes, so this one, the Free States vendor, he sells a copy of this weapons plan. As you could see, he has a copy of this weapons plan in his inventory. And besides him, Here, the shop next to it, the shopping mall. This is not the vendor, this is the vendor. He also has a copy of this weapons plan in his inventory. As you could see, he also has a copy of this weapons plan in his inventory. Now, besides these four vendors, you could also buy this weapons plan from vendor Graham. For those of you who don't know, Graham is a super mutant. He is a traveling merchant, he falls 76. He's quite difficult to find. I've been playing for a few years now, and I think I've only seen him twice. So don't count on Graham, he's too much trouble. It's better to buy it from these four stations. Now let's talk about this weapon's mods. So this weapon has 14 mods. 13 of those 14 mods are loose mods, meaning that you could get them by scrapping the weapon over and over, or just randomly buying it from vendors in Fallout 76. I think that the vendor bot in Vatoga Station has quite a few of them for sale in his inventory. So if you have caps to spare, you should probably buy it from him. But if you have enough steel, you could just craft this weapon over and over again. Now, the only mod that isn't a loose mod, the Prime Receiver. The only way that you could obtain a Prime Receiver is by killing the Scorch Queen. And by killing it, I mean either dealing the most amount of damage to the Scorch Queen or shooting the last shot at the Scorch Queen in the Scorched Earth event. Now, whenever you do that, the Scorch Queen will randomly drop a Prime Receiver plan for you that could be for any weapon, so it's you on your luck, but prime receivers are generally bad because 
you will need ultrasite ammo to use them and they're pretty expensive to craft it's just not worth it so don't really worry about it and yeah this is almost everything that you need to know about the regular rifle now if you need a copy of this weapon and just don't have the time to farm it and you just want to try it out for yourself you could always go ahead join my discord server link in the description text me there and i could craft one and give it to you for free remember i'm on xbox so if you're on pc or playstation i'm sorry but yeah guys so that'll be it for this video if you have any questions left feel free to ask me in the comment section or join my discord server link in the description and i'll be capturing our next video take care guys